Hi, I'm Piggy Bono 4 Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, please subscribe. In today's video, we are going to be making chocolate chip cookies. This is not a tutorial, this is just for fun. I may say a couple of the ingredients and how much, but I will not say all of the measurements because this is just for fun. No tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into the baking. In the kitchen, hello humans and friends. We are going to be making the chocolate chip cookies now. Uh, here's the recipe. If you want to stop and pause that to get the recipe, that would be great for you. So let's, I guess, get started with that. I have my mixer and my dog is on the floor. And I guess we'll just start with the wet ingredients. Um, I guess I gotta reach for a creepy bit. To what? It says 375. Okay, preheat it's oven. So now I have to. It says to do the dry ingredients first, but I'm gonna do the wet ingredients first because that is the easiest for me. Okay, I need the butter. I've got butter. This is one cup, right? Yes. Okay. One cup of butter, which someone stuck their finger in. Thank you. Um, put that in, I guess. Eek. I'm gonna lock it, and I'm gonna start mixing. It says to add the butter, and the granulated sugar, and the brown sugar, and then the vanilla, until creamy. Three fourths. I just got butter all over myself. Three fourths. Sugar, regular sugar. Uh, so that's one, two, and three. There's that. And then it says to add the brown sugar, which I got right here. And it says for the brown sugar, just pack three quarts also. So three of these also. Pack one, two. Almost got three. And three. And then it says to add the vanilla extract and wait until it's creamy. I'm just gonna pour it into the lid and I'm just gonna pour it in there. But that's usually enough. And if it's not, I can always add more. I'm gonna wait for it to get creamy. And then I can go get the bowl and start making the dry ingredients. Just for dry ingredients and still wet. So we need the flour. Right here. And the measuring cups, um, too much flour. Two and one fourth cups of flour. Two of these. Let's as much of as possible. There's one. And there's two, and it says one fourth for a fourth. Okay, and then it says to add baking soda and salt. Same, you know. Enough. And it says for salt. One teaspoon of salt. I shall just grab it. All the dry ingredients. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. So we put that off to the side over here. And we come back over here. And we gotta add eggs. Organic eggs. In my Hello Kitty bowl. That's now organic eggs. And I'm supposed to add them. So, I'm gonna put the shells in this bowl. And I'll crack them in here and make sure that I don't have the shells in it. Don't crack it on the side of the bowl because that's how you get shells. Where'd you learn that from? My mom. And accidentally doing it. Okay. And I think there's no shells in there. You go ahead and okay. add them. It says to okay. add the eggs one at a time and beat well after each addition. Gradually beat into flour mixture. Okay, so one by one. So let one yolk go in there and let that mix up. Chocolate 
chips. I'm probably supposed to add them right now. It says for the chocolate chips, two cups. I think this is two cups. It looks like it, so I shall use it. So just one whole bag, huh? Yes. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, very big chips. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add them in, I guess. Look at it. Look at it. Unstick it from this. We're just doing this so that it can mix better. And go ahead and get the sides with the spatula because sometimes that's where the flour mixture stays. And sometimes at the bottom, but I think this is okay. This will check though. See? Okay, we're good. Get that butter that's on the side. And get the butter that's on the side. I know, I know. I'm going to add the rest of this. The mixture all mixed up. Yep. We've got the scooper. Uh, it does not have a size on it anymore. We've got the two pans. It says to line them, but these ones are non stick so we should be fine. Right? Yep. Okay. These ones are only for cookies. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and scoop these up. And if anyone tells you ever to use any other mixer or uh, mixing bit other than this one for cookies, they're crazy. And why is that? Because the mixer could break what from else? the thick uh, dough. If you use the hook one, that one's for dough, and it'll, this will be too sticky for it. You can use the whisk if like, it calls for whisked egg whites, and then you can use that, and then you have to switch it to the paddle so it doesn't break. Because I think I broke someone's whisk before. Yeah, from doing that because that's what she used and she ended up breaking it well i did but she's going to want that one okay start scooping just scoop it like this scrape it on the side and put them on and they'll look like little ice cream scoops i like to use the medium size that well i mean out of the ones we have this is the medium. You have a smaller one and a bigger one. This is the best size. Which I think... I don't remember what size it was. That it said it was. Put three in a row. So that's room to spread. We will put the rest in. We'll try to do it speedy. Okay. Pan done. We're gonna go ahead and put that in over in the oven, which is already hot. And we'll put the timer on and we'll wait for that while we're filling up the other tray. Over here. And then once that one's done, we can put it up to cool and we can do some rotation. Okay, so the cookies are done. This is what they look like. You can see them here. We like them a little bit more gooey, so they're not super duper brown. So we can go ahead and take the just scoop. We can stick those in. We put these on top. Push it in. And timer on for eight. And we're going to go ahead and start that. So we're going to go ahead and scoop each one carefully because they're a little soft. We're going to stick them on the racks. So that they can cool. Ah. It did not say the recipe did not say how many it made. I don't think. Okay, so the pan's hot, as I figured out. So we can take those out, let those cool, and once they're done cooling, I will pick them up and we shall see what they look like. This is what they look like, and let's go ahead and give them a taste because obviously we gotta do that. Mmm, this is good. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for the next video on Monday. Bye.